Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually install and set up the environment for developing the robots uh, using Robocop. Okay, so First of all, uh, without any hesitation, even if you are a beginner, uh, you can actually subscribe to my channel because I would be talking everything right from the basics. So I'll be introducing everything from the ABCs of the Robocop. Okay. So uh, without any ado, let me just start it with what is Robocop actually and how you can actually, you know, develop the robots uh, for Robocop. Okay. So basically Robocop is an RPA tool which, which uh, you know, helps to develop the robots and use for, useful for automating different types of environments like it whether it can be a desktop web application an api or you know mainframes database for basically for all types of applications where a robot can have an access to okay so this um with this kind of uh, tool you can actually uh, develop the robot so just uh, how you can actually develop the robots you should have an integrated development environment right so the one that you're seeing on the screen which is visual studio code this is the um, id that we are going to use in order to develop the robot so let me just uh, explain you how you can actually get this right in front or uh, into your systems and you can also uh, you know work and develop the robots by yourself okay so first of all, let me just take you to the site where you can actually download Visual Studio Code from. So this is the site. Uh, I'll just give you the link for this site in the description below the video. You can just get it from there or you can just refer to the documentation. Uh, it's very clear uh, in the Robocop documentation. I'll give you the... Uh, documentation for that as well link for documentation so you can just check it out and get it from there as well so uh, once after you come to this page just click on the download the process what i'm going to sh show you right now is same for windows and mac uh, i'm not really sure about linux because i haven't tried it uh, practically um but uh, for both of these uh the, the process same uh, i'm not going to talk about linux because i am i am not sure and i don't know what is what are the you know challenges that you, i have encountered or someone can encounter while doing the process so <clears throat> just install for the windows just click on that and it will show you this uh, it will give you the exe <clears throat> excuse me So this will give you the exe file just uh, you know click on just the keep and you can uh, just uh, you know run that exe file and agree to the terms and conditions and just uh, you know finish off the installation process so once after you do that you will get uh, the visual studio in your system so just check for the visual studio code and once after you get it into your systems, just run it. It will take a little while uh, to open it in the first time. And you can see uh, the UI of this will appear in this way. And you may not find all these folders if for the first time when you actually open Visual Studio because I, uh, you haven't uh, installed any of the things. So once after you reached till this point, uh, you have to do two things here. The first one is you have to uh, install the extension. So there are mainly basically two extensions that you have to install. Let me just show you on your left hand panel. You can see there's something called as extensions. Just go over here and you can just search from the marketplace. So you just type here, which is Robocop code. Okay, you can just see here. This is the one uh, just see Robocop code. So once after you search for that here, you can see the Robocop code and you can just install and enable the extension. So for that, just click on the install button <clears throat> and that will give you the Robocop code over here. So basically the Robocop code is used to create and run uh, for all the actions that you need to do, uh, do on a robot. So you will see and understand why we are using these extensions more clearly while we go uh, deeper into the sessions and after once after you click, uh, take the robocop code the next uh, extension that we need is robot framework language so <clears throat> this uh this uh, extension is basically used like uh we have to create a robot and uh this has a predefined 
standards okay or framework i can say so template or something of that kind so in order to use those uh, we'll be using robot framework okay so this basically uh, just install this particular uh, uh, you know extension and you can just see uh, in the filters if you just uh, see the installed ones under installed installed ones you should see these both extensions installed so once after that's done the next thing is go to file explorer okay and from here i'll just show you how you can do this just click on open folder <clears throat> if you don't have a predefined folder already just come over here and just give the new folder and create a folder name of your choice okay i can give uh, something like robo demo robot okay demo robot and just say select folder and if you see i got my demo robot created right so this is just the uh, folder that i've created but the robot is not yet created so um, i hope this is clear till now uh, for you everything that i have explained and i am going to show you how you can actually create a robot and how you can actually run a robot in the next videos but till now let me just summarize what all we have seen in this video so firstly <clears throat> i've explained you what is a robocorp and how we can on what type of applications we can use this robocorp for the automation purpose and what is the environment that we are using for this automation and how you can install it and i will provide you the links in the description you go and check it out and also the links for the documentation official documentation of the robocop will also be given in the description and apart from that i have also shown you what are the extension that you need uh, for you know the next steps to run and to create and to you know to create the frameworks and all and i have also show you, shown you how you can actually create a folder for your robot <clears throat> so that's all in this video uh, in the next videos i'm going to show you uh, the different things like creation and running of the robot how many ways you can run the robot how you can debug the robot what is control room and all, everything uh, that you need to understand about it so i hope you like the video and you found it useful if you do so please do let me know in the comments and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video